one thing we hear and see from students all the time is that they struggle to be fast and efficient with their head-to-toe assessment during clinicals. They get bogged down with the details of assessing every single body system, and it takes them 20, 30, or even 45 minutes on one patient. Well, when you're in a med surge unit, you could have five patients. You cannot take 30 minutes per patient to do your assessment. So what we want to show you is what a real shift assessment looks like in practice. And we're going to show you how to do it in five minutes. Now, doing a full shift assessment in five minutes is all about multitasking. Now, this video is going to show you what the assessment actually looks like, and the outline in your lesson will show you what other information is being gathered simultaneously. For example, you're going to be assessing skin color, temperature, lesions, and pain throughout the entire assessment. So the big thing here is gather your information. If you see something's off, you can pause and investigate it further. Do your pain assessment, assess your wound in more detail, etc. Then pick back up right where you left off. When you're done, get a full set of vital signs and document your findings. Let's see what this looks like in action. Good morning. How are you doing this morning? Good. Good. So my name is Nicole. I'm going to be your nurse today. I'm just going to do a quick assessment to start the shift. Is that okay? Yeah, that's fine. Great. So I'm going to start with just a couple of questions we ask everybody. Can you tell me your full name? Tammy Haas. And what month is it? December. Do you know where we are right now? In the hospital. Yes. And what brought you into the hospital? Um, I need to get some tests run on my heart. Okay. Well, we'll see what we can do about that. Okay. So I'm going to do the physical portion of the assessment now. So if anything I do or asks you to ask you to do cause you any pain, you just let me know. Okay. Okay. All right. Great. So I'm just going to start by looking in your eyes. Just look right at my nose. All right. Can you open your mouth for me and stick out your tongue? Ah, uh, fabulous. Just look at your nose. All right, can you turn your head to the left, look at your ears, and to the other side? Wonderful. Just follow my finger with just your eyes, okay? Okay. Beautiful. Any pain or issues with your head, neck, jaw, or ears? No. Okay, fantastic. I'm just going to listen to your heart, lungs, and your belly now. Okay. I'm going to start with your heart so you can just breathe normally. Okay. Great. Now I'm going to listen to your lungs, so just take a deep breath when you fill my stethoscope. One more. Great. I'm just going to listen to your belly. All right. Any pain when I press on your belly? No. All right. Fantastic. Get you covered back up. Alrighty, can you squeeze my hands? Great, you can let go. See your nails. Awesome, all right, put your hands up like you're stopping a bus and push on me. Good, turn your hands around, pull me towards you. Fabulous. Um, can you put your arms out to the side, up over your head? Any pain with any of those movements? No. All right, you can put your arms down. I'm just gonna look at your feet now. Okay. Take off your socks so I can see your little toes. All right, can you push down on my hands like you're pushing on a gas pedal? Good, pull your toes back towards your head. Awesome, can you raise your legs up off the bed? Don't let me push them down. Fabulous, all right, can you bend your knees for me? And I'm gonna have you turn over to your side that way so I can assess your back. Great, all right, I'm gonna listen to your lungs again, so just take a deep breath when you feel my scope. Good. Great. Just take a look at your skin. 
Everything looks great. All right, you can make yourself comfortable. Do you have any pain or burning with urination? Any issues with that? Any no. issues with your bowel movements? No. Beautiful. All right, well, I'm just going to do a set of vital signs, and we'll get the rest of the shift started. Do you need anything else right now? No, thank you. All right, fantastic. So I hope that was a helpful overview for you guys about how to do a quick five-minute shift assessment. Did you notice that the nurse checked Turger on the chest right after she was done listening to lung sounds without even taking her stethoscope off? So again, it's all about multitasking. If you find something abnormal, that's when you're going to use what you learned in the body system specific assessment lessons to investigate it deeper. Now go out and be your best selves today, guys. And as always, happy nursing.